Welcome. Safety is our absolute first priority. Only together can we prevent unsafe situations. That's everyone's responsibility. Know your responsibilities and you'll always stay one step ahead of danger. Awareness of health and safety, the environment and well-being is not a 9 to 5 job. It has to be second nature. As well as the information that has already been harmonized, site and company specific information also applies. Ask for it. Today, we'd like to draw your attention to caustic soda. The chemical name for caustic soda is sodium hydroxide. It's a highly aggressive and corrosive substance that absorbs moisture from the environment. When dissolved in water, it is known as caustic soda. We use caustic soda to desulfurize acidic natural gas condensate and to clean and degrease equipment. When you inhale vapors or spray mist, it may produce severe irritation of the respiratory tract. Anyone who gets exposed to caustic soda may suffer serious burns. So be on your guard when caustic soda is being used. Because it's extremely aggressive and corrosive and it reacts violently with acids and chlorine. Caustic soda is not flammable or explosive. This substance is highly soluble in water. When dissolved in water, it generates large amounts of heat. There's risk of corrosive mists forming. Where and when do we use caustic soda? We use this substance at sites where acidic gas is extracted. We use caustic soda for the desulfurization of acidic natural gas condensate. We also use it for cleaning and degreasing equipment. The main situations in which you may be exposed to caustic soda are in case of leakages, during inspections and maintenance work, when taking samples, but also when dismantling isolation and during loading and unloading of desulfurized gas condensate. Always use the correct additional personal protective equipment. Wear respiratory protection and goggles or a safety visor. Put on a chemical-resistant overall and chemical-resistant gloves. These gloves are made of butyl rubber or nitrile rubber. The work permit specifies which additional protective equipment you should use. Make sure you are well prepared before you start working. For example, read the work permit carefully and familiarize yourself with the situation at the plant as soon as possible. Make sure you understand the safety risks involved in the work in question. It's important that you discuss these safety risks in detail, for example, during a toolbox meeting. Take all necessary precautions. Use the correct personal protective equipment and additional protective equipment. Being well prepared also means that you should familiarize yourself with escape routes and muster points. Please note, always stay alert while on the job. When in doubt, always ask or stop working. You must, of course, always be aware of the dangers involved when working with caustic soda. Even if you do everything possible to prevent incidents, it is important to know what to do if things go wrong. For example, if someone has inhaled vapors or spray mist, remove the victim to fresh air. If necessary, administer artificial respiration until professional help arrives. If caustic soda gets into the eyes, immediately rinse it out with water or diphotorine. That is, if this substance is available in the workplace. In case of skin contact, you should remove all contaminated clothing immediately. Then you should rinse the skin with water or diphotorine as soon as possible. That is, if this substance is available in the workplace. It may also occur that someone has accidentally swallowed caustic soda. Then you should let him rinse his mouth with water and have him spit it all out. Make sure to never induce vomiting. Do not clean up spills of caustic soda yourself. Instead, notify spills to the site manager. He will ensure that the spill is cleaned up expertly and safely. So immediately report any incidents to the site manager and call a physician straight away. There are certain health risks associated with working with caustic soda. Inhalation of vapors or spray mist produces severe irritation of the respiratory tract. Whoever gets exposed to caustic soda 
may suffer skin and eye burns. Immediately report any unforeseen circumstances or situations that are not covered by the work permit to the site manager or supervisor. For questions or further information, you can turn to your site manager or supervisor. And remember, work safely or do not work at all. Good luck!